Hey guys, it's Monica. Uh, I'm back to do part two about the Intel RealSense camera. Uh, if you missed it, you could click part one, where everybody stick it along the screen, uh, where pretty much I review the product, I talk about some of the cool um, capabilities it has, some of the cool things you can do. Um, but for this part, I wanted to go more into the apps and how those can really help you, uh, I guess depending on what you want to use them for. Uh, so the first one I want to look at is called the 3D Me app. So this app is really cool um, to me personally because it's kind of related to my cosplay stuff in that uh, with the camera you could actually scan your face and you could put it on uh, different 3D models so you could kind of see uh, what you look like as a different character. You could uh, 3D print whatever character you make so even if you want to like take parts of your costume and maybe 3D uh, like to get a 3D picture of it and then put that in there you could have your own little figure of yourself which is pretty cool. So here I'm in the app right now. Um, it shows up and you have these collections. Uh, there's not really many options right now. I imagine you might have to buy other ones. Um, but I'm gonna 3D me kids, Dragon Kingdom, because that sounds badass. So what happens is this character shows up. There are these two. Um, and I guess I want to scan my stuff. So I'm going to click the character and do a new scan. A little tutorial on how to do it. I'm gonna skip this. All right. So I'm pulling my hair back. Well, let area look straight ahead. It says fit my head into the circle. Moving closer to the screen. So there's my little head. It's a little creepy, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> So it says, rough edges, don't worry, we'll smooth these out. Too dark, too light. You can adjust your lighting if it's too dark, so you can uh, pull all light in the different area, and if it's blurry, so... Look, I'm so sexy right now. All right, I'm gonna stick you guys right here. So now I am an epic dragon warrior. So this is just an example of some of the cool stuff you can do with 3D Me. You could maybe build a character and have that kind of be a reference for cosplay. So besides the 3D Me app, uh, there's actually a lot of other apps um, that Intel has for you guys to use um, that are pretty cool. Um, as I said in the previous video, uh, not many of them are super fleshed out or super amazing unless you could, you know, afford a shell a penny for some of them. Um, but there's some really cool ones, like uh, Autodesk has one um, that can overlay borders uh, and you know filters and different effects and stuff uh, on photos and so if that kind of thing interests you. Uh, one of the coolest one I found, um, which you do have to purchase, is called uh, Ucam RX. And so what you do is you can capture video uh, with 3D. You can use uh, green screens, which is pretty cool, so if you're wanting to do your own little video blog or something, uh, that'd be pretty ideal. Um, and you could also edit different photos and stuff, and so I thought that this kind of thing would be really interesting if you guys like to do photo editing or uh, video editing, but kind of take it above just doing iMovie. Um, and so there's not really that many out there. If you look at the website right now, there's really maybe under 30 or so, um, but more are being developed. Uh, I think you could even... Um, make your own app if you want to go in and pair with Intel, um, if that kind of thing interests you. Um, and of course the apps vary depending on the kind of camera you have, because there are different ones depending on the technology that you have. So there can definitely be many things improved about this, as I uh, stated previously. I think uh, the most lucrative thing about it is the 3D. Um, I've seen videos where they use the same uh, RealSense technology and uh, they use mul multiple cameras actually and they're able to build like a whole person uh, with very uh, scrutinized detail, uh, not just kind of fuzzy like the 3D me one. Um, and I think it could be really great uh, if you wanted to create like a 3D model of yourself, you could take that file and then build something in CAD or SOLIDWORKS on top of that and then you could 3D print your armor. Uh, much like many people are doing these days, but it'd be something that's more affordable and closer to home to do. Um, so hopefully this thing keeps evolving more and it can become more affordable so people can use it uh, and it can really help uh, a lot of us with our abilities as cosplayers or if you want to do YouTube channel stuff and whatnot. Um, so I hope this helped give you guys a little bit of an insight in this. Uh, I just thought it was something that was really cool um, and since I paired the Intel guys before I really wanted to show this to you and they're really great and make cool stuff. 
So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more things, uh, and I guess comment below what you think. Um, and if you have any other ideas for what would be cool apps or cool ways to, I guess, expand this technology. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon!